This is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh HaKadosh. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. So I'm going to read this again. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And we know how this damn devil gets down, man. You know, and what I'm speaking on in particular is this current situation, you know, that's happening out there in, uh, you know, Waukesha, uh, you know, Wisconsin, where they're, uh, you know, trying to set up Jake again. Okay, because that's, you know, this damn devil's uh, MO. You know, paint Jake as the bad guy, paint Jake as, you know, the, the violent uh, individual. Okay, when really it's Esau Edom, you know, and basically what he's doing, he's trying to, you know, switch the spotlight from him back on to Jacob. And that's what he's always done, you know, and this thing just gets, you know, fishier and fishier. All right. And anybody, you know, with a spiritual eye already know this is a, this is a setup. You know, this is another one of Esau Edom's uh, tricks, you know, because what would compel, you know, this guy you know, to do what he did, you know, and then they're already uh, linking him, you know, to the quote-unquote uh, black Israelites, as, you know, Esau refers to us as, which we're not black, okay? We are the actual descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, I don't know if the mainstream media, you know, is uh, running with that narrative, but there was one individual, you know, one of the brothers uh, posted a video up, you know, that dude, uh, Stu Peters, you know, he's running with it, <clears throat> you know, but regardless of, you know, whether the mainstream media picks this up or not, you know, that narrative that he's a, an Israelite, he subscribes to uh, the doctrine, which says no real evidence uh, pointing to that. This, at the end of the day, is all geared towards Jake, okay? This is all geared towards, you know, the brothers that's in the truth, because he has to paint this narrative, man. That's how Esau Edom gets down, okay? He has to paint all so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans as being like this guy, you know, so he can uh, be justified in the moves that he's getting ready to make, okay? He's not just going to come out and say, you know, see these Israelites, they're doing this. There's, there's really no evidence to that, so he got to set up certain individuals to do this, man, okay? And the reason why I say it's getting more fishier, you know, as the time passes, now there's new info coming out. You know, this is from uh, MSN.com. So it says, uh, Shivering, a uh, Waukesha suspect, Daryl Brooks had no shoes, jacket, asking for help after horror. So after he, you know, allegedly did what he uh, did, he was asking for help. And then he came out the car with no shoes and no jacket. Okay? In, West, in Wisconsin, man. All right? Which just, just, just makes no sense at all, you know? If he did what he did, you know, and he, he uh, you know, actually had the mindset of what he said, you know, he said that he believes that, you know, the people that he, you know, did that to were the enemy. Why would he be all distraught, you know, and asking for help? Why, why, wouldn't, why wouldn't he have no shoes on and no jacket, you know? So you can see that this is, this is you know, just another trick that Esau eat him is going to use to further demonize Jake, okay, because that's his M.O., all right, and he's been doing this, man, and like I said, the reason why he's trying to do this is to take away, you know, uh, uh, the spotlight from him, man, okay, he's trying to paint us, you know, uh, as a whole as being, you know, these violent individuals, when this nigga is the most violent person ever to exist, okay, no, no, nobody can, can live up to the track record that you damn devils have, man. Okay, this this is this is small in comparison to the atrocities that you so-called white people have committed down here on the earth, man. Okay, what what was happening in you know uh, Waukesha before this guy was even born? You know how was Waukesha established? But see, this damn devil don't want to talk about that. He wants to talk about you know this guy and how horrific the attack was. You know, but that's Esau for you, man. Okay, so this is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11 again. It says, Least Satan should get an advantage of us. 
we are not ignorant of his devices. We know what's going on, man. Okay, we know what your MO is. Your MO is to paint so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, as the face of, you know, uh, terrorist organizations, okay, the new face of terror, all right, and also that we're just this, you know, group of uncontrollable uh, wild beasts. And that's been a narrative since you came over here, okay? What did you call the Native Americans? You called them savages, man, okay? And the reason why you pushed that narrative out was to justify your wickedness, that you, uh, uh, you know, perpetrated against them, man, stealing their land, murdering them, scalping them, okay, uh, destroying their food source, the, the buffalo, okay, because if you call them actual, you know, people, you look at them as people, then people will sympathize with them, but you call them savages and beasts, okay, then you push this narrative out there like they're violent, you know, then these people will be more on board with the treatment that you dish out to them, and that's what's going on, man. Okay, see, and this is the reason why you you gotta be girded, man. Okay, you gotta have an armor on. All right, this is Ephesians six and ten. It says, "Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, Yahabashimi Habashai, and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil." And this is a wile of the devil, man. Okay. And this is just another indicator that this nigga is still on the job. All right? He, his, his MO has not changed. His agenda has not changed. He wants to portray you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, as being this group of violent individuals. Okay? You're just out to, to get Edomites. Which, that's not just not Jake's MO. You know? Jake is in the hood killing himself, you know, killing each other, and, and, and getting drunk. You know, and eating eating Popeye's uh, chicken sandwiches, man. That's that's what the the average Jake is doing. Okay, not things like this. But leave it to Esau. He's gonna push that narrative out there, man. Okay, because he has an agenda. All right. He's gonna make it seem like he's going on the offense because he's being attacked. Oh, he's he's going on the defense to lock him. You know. Oh, see, look, we're getting attacked. These 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 crazy blacks and Hispanics. You know, they're just attacking. Uh, uh, white people out of nowhere, so we have to respond, okay, and he's going to make the move that he's going to make, man, which is coming down with that great wrath, okay, see, a nigga just ain't going to make the move out of nowhere, he's going to justify it through his, uh, his media, man, and this is just another attempt at that, okay, we had that one thing that happened, uh, I believe it was in upstate New York, where the, uh, the Jake, you know, they said he was an Israelite as well, he believed in the, the Hebrew Israelite doctrine. He ran and, and, and killed, you know, uh, a, a, a so-called uh, Jew family, man, a small hat family. You know, that's just Esau pushing that narrative. Okay. Oh, uh, you know, the New Jersey uh, incident. Okay. So it's the same thing over and over again. This nigga's not stopping, man. All right. Because the goal is to demonize you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as he's been doing. Okay, it hasn't changed. This is uh, Revelation 12 and 10. It says, And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And that's what he's doing. He's the accuser, man. Okay, let's look this word accuser up. That's what this damn devil does, man. <laughs> so the word there is Strong's G2723 Categoreo, okay, which is where you get the word category from. So he's trying to categorize, okay, all you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are having this kind of mindset. You know, you wanna you wanna put so-called white people to death. You wanna you wanna you wanna murder them. You know, even the little children, you know, that Esau uh, plays on these people's emotions with the children, man. Well, how many how many children have you killed since you established this place, man? Since from your coming over here, okay, in, in the, the 1400s up until now, how many children have you murdered, man? 
But see, he doesn't want to talk about that. He wants to bring these things up to the forefront. You know, he wants to talk about this guy. Okay? Oh, see, we moved on from that 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 past. We're not we're not like that anymore. Now look at what these people are doing. Okay? That's Esau, man. The damn devil. And his word means to accuse before a judge to make an accusation of an extrajudicial accusation. So who is he accusing us before, man? He's accusing us before the Heavenly Father. Okay? Now he's doing this before the whole uh, world. Okay? But he's also doing this before Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Look at your people. Look at their, their, their you know, uh, they're violent. Okay? Oh, they have a, a murderous intent against me. And I, I don't do anything wrong. All right. When the Most High knows what goes on behind closed doors, man, all these little little secret operations you got, okay, your uh, uh, what's the word, your entrapment programs that you have, you know, with, through your various uh, law enforcement agencies, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai knows about that, man. Okay, so when you was you know co uh, creating these type of events behind closed doors, the Most High was there. Okay, and then you bring these things to the forefront and you act like you don't know what's going on. Like, you're just an innocent party. You know? That's Esau, man. But see, we're, we're in a time to where you're going to be cast down. Okay? So what does he have to do? He has to accuse us harder, man. Okay? So expect this to ramp up. Okay? Expect the demonization to ramp up more and more because he's at the end, man. Okay? It says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. That's Esau Edom, okay, which accused them before our power day and night. And he's constantly accusing us before Yahweh, look at the, the iniquity that they're committing, okay? You, sh you should destroy these people. Look at what they're doing. They don't follow your, uh, your Sabbaths. You know, they don't uh, uh, keep the high holy days. They don't, they have complete disregard for your law. And part of the main reason for that is because the uh, philosophies that this damn devil pushes out to you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. He doesn't push out that, you know, pork is bad for you to eat. Uh, you shouldn't eat shellfish, you know. Oh, oh you shouldn't, you shouldn't wear this kind of, uh, uh, you know, fabric. Okay. Oh, you're the Israelite. You're supposed to have, uh, you know, fringes in a, in a border blue on your garment. You know, you're supposed to do this. You're not supposed to commit adultery. He don't tell people that, man. He encourages Jake to commit wickedness. All right? What's the main, you know, uh, uh, genre of music you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, uh, you know, uh, enjoy? So-called uh, rap, hip-hop. And what are they talking about in there, man? Adultery. The women are, are bragging about being, uh, you know, harlots. Okay, so that's that's the kind of music that you consume, and those are the actions that you enact out here in the world, man. Who controls the music industry, man? The damn devil, your enemy, the so-called white man. He's the one that approves these rappers to put these certain songs out, man. Because you notice, you know, if you listen to quote-unquote conscious rap, you ain't going to hear that on the radio. All right? You ain't going to hear, you know, any kind of in-depth, you know, uh, rap songs on the radio, man. Okay? Well, hey, hey, I know uh, you're not going to hear the Sakari raps on there. You know, they they, they go <laughs> into the scriptures on, on the track. You ain't going to hear Sakari on the, on, the, on the radio, man. Okay, because your enemy controls, you know, everything that you consume. And it's his goal to push out, you know, uh, things that's going to bring you down. Okay, things that's going to lead you down the path of sin. So he wants to see you fall. He wants to see you destroyed. Okay. Verse 11, it says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Okay. And they loved not their lives unto the death. See, and this is, you know, this damn devil's main problem. There's been a sacrifice created for the nation of Israel. So regardless of what you're doing, okay, it's not going to work, man. You could, you could keep going with your demonization campaign. Okay. Continue to do it, man. Okay. Why? Because we are justified through the blood that Yahweh Shai spilled. Okay? And the Most High is seeing us through that lens. He ain't seeing us through the, the, the you know, the stuff you have us doing down here. Okay? This, this society that you have set up to keep the nation of Israel in a perpetual state of sin. He's not looking at Jake 
through that lens, man. All right? There's certain individuals down here that have accepted the sacrifice of Yahweh and they have a clean slate. Okay? They've accepted Yahweh as the mediator and the Most High is dealing with the nation of Israel through his uh, his son, Yahweh Okay? Which through that mediator, all the Israelites that come to him are made clean. Okay? So all this, 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 this smear campaign that you got going, it's going to be of none effect, man. Okay? Nevertheless, this damn devil is still going to do it because he's the devil, man. All right? This is Psalms 50. Let's see, I'm going to just jump to the point. This is Psalms 50 and 19. It says, Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frame of deceit. So you got to understand what kind of man you're dealing with. This nigga is deceitful, man. Okay, and there's all kind of deceit, you know, uh, uh, written on this whole situation, man. Okay, the nigga get, get out the car shivering with no shoes and, and no jacket. But he, he's supposed to be, you know, a, a, a high-level underground rapper, man. Okay? This don't make no sense. It says, Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frame of deceit. So this, this damn devil, all he does is lie. It's impossible for him to tell the truth, man. Verse 20, it says, Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, who is his brother, Jacob, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. And that's what this damn devil's all about, man, slandering Jake. Okay? And this is another part of his slander, man. All right? This whole situation is another part of the slander slash smear campaign that this damn devil has against you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Since you've come over here, Okay, you damn devils, you've been slandering Jake. Okay? All oh, the natives, they're savages. Oh, we're going to go to Africa and get these uh, uh, monkeys. Okay, these Negro monkeys from the west coast of Africa. We're going to bring them here and put them in slavery. Okay, and then what did you teach, you know, uh, uh, the southern kingdom when they was in slavery? They came from Africa swinging on trees. You, you beat their nationality out of them. And then you injected a false narrative into their mind, man. They have no history, just slaves. Okay, literally, if you go read the history books for this country, okay, that's what it's that's what it's gonna tell you, so-called Negroes, man. You can't trace your lineage any uh, any further back than the bill of sales that was given to you, or, or that uh, you know your forefathers was was purchased with, man. Okay, that record is the the only record you can find about your origins of of you know how you got to this place, man. Okay, they don't know what tribe you came from in, in, in West Africa. They don't know nothing about that. You can trace your lineage as far back as the Bill of Sales. Okay, before that, you was, you was swinging on trees, you know, being being like Tarzan, man. And that's what this damn devil actually teaches. Okay? Why? Because he's all about slandering you, man. He doesn't want you to wake up to the knowledge of who you actually are. And that's the reason why you're going to see more smear campaigns being run. Okay, because the nation of Israel is waking up. Which means what? It's over for this damn devil. He's going to have to make that move. But to make that move, he has to be justified in his eyes. Okay? It says, Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thine own mother's son. You do nothing but slander Jake. Okay? That's what you're all about, man. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Okay? Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. So since the Most High didn't do nothing to you for you doing these things, okay, you thought everything was all good, man. Thought the Most High is with it. I ain't got no problems. Okay, I can do whatever I want to these people, man. It says, Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. And the Most High is reproving you first and foremost through the prophets. Okay, and also that reproof, the ultimate reproof is going to come when the Most High destroys this place from off the face of the earth. All right, and you see in the nation of Israel be set in order out there in the camps, man. Okay, and in their day to day, coming back to, you know, uh, the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, doing the things that please the Heavenly Father and forsaking the way that you have given them. And that pisses you off, man. Okay. But what this damn devil is trying to do, okay, through his slander campaign, he wants to, you know, pretty much take the spotlight off of him. Okay, see, these people are the murderers. These are the people that, you know, go around killing everybody. 
okay, or look at they they steal, you know, or they they, they commit uh, violent acts unprovoked, because that's all they know, okay, but when you go into the scriptures and in the history, you are the number one mass murderer on the earth, man, especially when it comes to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you murdered us more than any other people down here, man, and the scriptures testify to that, but see, he doesn't want this to come up, okay, he, he, he wants to talk about what Jake is doing, you know, so this is uh, Revelation 17, let's see, I'm going to start at 3, it says, so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemies, having seven heads and ten horns, which this woman represents America, okay, the scarlet colored beast represents NATO and the EU, okay, so this is the power structure that currently has you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans oppressed, man. Okay? That's putting hell on you throughout the four corners of the earth. This is the system. Okay? But this, this nigga got a nerve to focus in on one Jake. Okay? But that's the devil for you, man. It says, And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, which just represents royalty. Okay? A position of power. Also, uh, riches. Okay, because purple is very uh, expensive, you know, for you to get a, a garment back in the ancient time that was purple, you had to you had to have a lot of money, man. Okay, it says, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. So she was she was very wealthy. America is the most wealthiest nation on the earth. Okay, and how did you gain all this wealth through through your oppression of the Israelites? Well, see, you don't want to talk about that. How all your wealth came from enslaving so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? He wants you to focus on this, man. This, this, this guy. Okay? Which is he got out the car with no shoes. Okay? <laughs> and no jacket on, man. Asking for help. You know why? Why he didn't have a smile on his face, man? It says, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Okay, which that goes into her philosophies. Okay. And that's what America pushes out, man. Nothing but wicked philosophies. Things is going to make you a rebel to the Heavenly Father, man. All right. Verse 5, it says, and upon her head was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great. The mother, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And all these wicked philosophies, they come out of where? They come out of America, man. Mainly. Okay? Because this is the epicenter or the, the capital of, you know, the kingdom of you damn devils down here on the earth, man. Everybody's looking to America for direction. All right? And what is America pouring out? Abominations, man. Or to be a transformer, you know? Or let, let, let you know, uh, the women and the kids do whatever they want to. You know, uh, had the whole family in disarray. Okay. Verse 6, and this is the point. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. And see, he does not want to talk about this, man. He don't want you to bring this up. So what is he doing? He's running a smear campaign against you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. And who are the saints, man? This is Psalms 50 and 5. It says, Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And that's talking about the nation of Israel. Which the nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? You are the saints, man. And what has this power structure done to the saints? What has America done to the saints, man? All right, I'm going to read it again. It says, And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. You look this word drunken up. That's the whole history of America, pretty much, man. When you look this word up. Strong's G, 3184, Methuo. Methuo. So the word there is Methuo. Okay. It says to be drunken. Metaphorically, of one who has shed blood or murdered profusely. Okay, and that is the history of America, man, to profusely murder 
the saints, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. How was America established? Upon the profuse murdering of the so-called Native Americans. Okay? The profuse murdering, man. Over 77 million just on, on this uh, land mass alone is estimated, estimated to be murdered. And that's only an estimation, man. Okay, but see, he doesn't want to talk about that. He wants to change, you know, uh, the focus to this guy. You know, yeah, he's, a, he's a horrible person. Oh, he killed he killed kids. How many children have you murdered, man? Okay, how many children have you murdered throughout your history on this earth, man? How many so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American children have you murdered? Okay, and you want to make a big fuss over this guy. You, you got a whole track record, man, and unto this day, you still murdering children, all right? But see, you don't want the focus to be on him. He wants you to focus on some no-name Jake from middle America, man. When this nigga got a, a long track record of wickedness, man. Let's focus on Jake. See, these, these, these guys, these are the violent people. It says, and I saw the woman, America, drunken with the blood of the saints to murder profusely. Okay? So this place is full of the blood of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Oh, what about alligator bait, man? He don't want to talk about that. Okay, how many, how many children were murdered to get uh, the skin of a gator, man? Okay, but you want to focus on just one Jake. It says, and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahushai. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Now I said, with the blood of the martyrs of Yahushai. Why? Because this damn devil's planning on killing the remnant, man. All right? Which that's what this is all about. Okay? That's why he set up, you know, events like this. To demonize Jake as a whole so he can target the ones that have the testimony of Yahushai, man. So he can be justified in coming down with that great wrath. Okay? This is Revelation 12 and 17. It says, And the dragon was wroth with the woman. Who's the dragon? The dragon represents NATO and the EU, and America's a part of that, man. So this damn devil's pissed off. Okay? He's pissed off at the fact that Jake is waking up. So he has to do something about it, man. But see, he can't just come and roll on us because all we're doing is preaching. So he has to set up, you know, events, okay, to make us look like we're a very uh, violent group, okay? But really, you doing that is just making you look worse, man, okay? Because you focusing on this dude, but then your track record comes up again, okay? You focusing on one Jake. How much wickedness have you done down here, man, okay? W what have you done to these people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? Let's let's say that this, this, this ain't, uh, uh, you know... An event that's orchestrated by the elites. What the hell do you gotta do to somebody to push them to this point to where they would do something like this, man? Oh, let's go into the history of America. What has this man done? Oh, he's 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 murdered you over the past five hundred years and he continues to do it? Okay. But see, Esau don't want to bring that up. Oh, that was in the past. That, those are my, 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 my ancestors. You know, I, I don't live like that. It says, and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. See, so the Bible has you all mapped out, man. Okay? Here it is. We haven't done anything physical to this damn devil, but what, is the, what does the Most High say he's doing? He's preparing war against us, man. So for us going out on the highways and hedges and preaching this word, prophesying against this place, telling you what the Most High is going to do, okay, he's going to destroy this place from off the face of the earth, you want to make war against us. Okay? It's in the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. And that's what he's doing, man. Okay? And this is the propaganda campaign that comes before the war. Okay? And that's how this damn devil gets down, man. Any war that he has initiated, he always has a propaganda campaign. He did it with the, uh, you know, World War II and World War I. He had a, 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 a propaganda campaign. Okay, before Afghanistan got invaded, there was a propaganda campaign, man. Okay, he painted the picture like he got attacked. Same thing with uh, uh, Iraq, Libya. Okay, that's how this damn devil gets down, man. And there's nothing different with this situation.
It says, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Hamashiach, which the testimony of Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy. So he wants to destroy the remnant for prophesying, man. For simply speaking words, he wants to uh, wage physical war against them. Okay, why? Because he's losing. All right, because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is not with you, contrary to what you you thought this whole time. Okay, just as we read in Psalms 50, he thought that the Most High was such a one as himself, man. Oh, the Most High is completely with what I'm doing. I ain't going to have no uh, resistance executing what I want to execute down here. The Most High has forsaken these people, and he's chosen me. That's the furthest thing from the truth, man. Okay, and you're getting hit with a dose of reality every time, you know, uh, brothers upload videos, man. Every time we go out on the highways and hedges. Okay? This is Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them, woe to the, to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. This time is almost up, man. Okay? So what are you going to see as this man continues to go down more and more? He's going to demonize so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans more and more. To justify him coming down with that great wrath. Okay? Because that's how he gets down, man. That's just what this damn devil does. Okay? So the demonization campaign is going to continue, okay, against you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans until this damn devil feels like he has enough, uh, you know, uh, things out there to where he can make his move. Okay? But see, what you don't know, all right, Esau, is that Yahweh Shemi Shai is watching everything go down, man. And despite... These accusations that you are pushing out, you know, against Jacob, against uh, the remnant, the Most High has deemed the the remnant of the nation of Israel uh, uh, guilt guilt free, man. Okay, there's nothing that you can bring to their charge. They have not done anything worthy of death in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Okay, so when you go to make your move, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to make a move against you, man. Just as he has done in the past through all these other wicked kings that have set themselves up, man. Or, or that was set up. Okay? Nebuchadnezzar. Another example, man. He was bucking up the most high. Had him out in the field, man. Okay? Try to throw, uh, you know, uh, the three children in the furnace. And what happened? The most high defended them. Okay? And the same thing is going to happen this go around, man. You're going to make your move and then your how about show me how shy going to make his move too. All right, you know, so I just want to go into that. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Yahweh Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. Shalom.